Good morning. My name is the Reverend Ian Martin, and I'm here with Judy Herring Graham and Deborah Zimmerman from St. George's. And together we are Durham, Durham Region, Region in Faith. Faith. Our service of morning prayer begins on page 47 of the book of Alternative Services. Lord, open our lips. And, and our, our mouth, mouth shall proclaim, proclaim your, your praise. praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, o Lord make, make haste to help us. And glory to, to the, the Father, and, and to the Son, and, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as, as it was in the beginning, beginning is now, and, and will be forever. forever. Amen and Alleluia. Alleluia. The Lord is in his holy temple. O come, o come let, let us, us worship. worship. The Venite can be found on page 49. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are the caverns of the earth and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his for he made it and his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today you would hearken to his voice. The Lord is in his holy temple. Oh, come, come let, us let us worship. And our collect for the day. And the collect prayer for Trinity Sunday. Father, we praise you. Through your word and Holy Spirit, you created all things. You reveal your salvation in all the world by sending to us Jesus Christ, the Word made flesh. Through your Holy Spirit, you gave us a share in your life and love. Fill us with the vision of your glory that we may always serve and praise you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to John. Jesus said, I still have many things to say to you, but you cannot bear them now. When the Spirit of truth comes, he will guide you into all the truth, for he will not speak on his own, but will speak whatever he hears, and he will declare to you the things that are to come. He will glorify me, because he will take what is mine and declare it to you. All that the Father has is mine. For this reason I said that he will take what is mine and declare it to you. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Okay, here we are. Hardest sermon of the year for all preachers. My head hurts. We have been sitting around here for, what, 20, 20 minutes. minutes? 20 minutes. Trying to come up with something to say about Trinity Sunday, and basically all we can agree on is that we can't agree on anything. Pretty much. So. It sounds like the Trinity. We all yeah. agree that we can't agree, but we all agree it's important. Important. It's like Bible reading. <laughs> But, you know, in, in, in Advent, John the Baptist gets two Sundays, and I kind of feel like the Holy Spirit gets two Sundays of the year, Pentecost and Trinity Sunday, where the, where the work of the Holy Spirit is front and center in the life of the church. And we have trouble, because we talk about the Father who created and the Son who saves, but we're kind of fuzzy about the work of the Holy Spirit. Now, we know that Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, three, three are also one right? So we were talking about analogy. So there we go. Three is also one. We have one God. Um, but I was, I was at Stephanie Douglas's church, St. Paul's on the Hill Pickering, uh, on my Sunday off last month. And Stephanie quoted someone who I can't remember, uh, but she was very carefully footnoted. But it's, it's, she, said, she said, the Holy Spirit is the power of God at work in the world in us. And I actually remembered that. The power of God at work at, in the world, in us. So here's my question. I love it. I agree with it. But here's my question. How do you make the distinction between the Holy Spirit working in you and out of you and you? Well, without him, I can do nothing. Did you put shoes on? Hmm, okay, I take your point. Where, where do we end and God start? And I think that's where mm -hmm. we get tripped up with the Holy Spirit. At one mm -hmm. hand, 
I, I know and I believe and I trust that I am caught up in this delightful Trinitarian God that loves me and those whom I love and serve and God's promises are real and that God is working in me in some way, shape, mm -hmm. or form. And yet, I am also cognizant that I don't know when God moves through me to others. Mm -hmm. And yet, others will say to me, I heard God speaking through you, mm -hmm. or I saw something happen there. And I'll say, I didn't even know that happened. Well, Jesus said, if you have eyes, you know, he who has eyes to see, let him see, and he who has ears to hear, let him hear. So maybe it's our eagerness mm -hmm. to see God as we expect to see God that gets in the way from us understanding the Trinity, from understanding what God's really about and working. Maybe we're just overthinking it. Or, or trying to do the impossible because if we could constrain God within the confines of our minds, yep. God would ceases. be no bigger than the confines of our minds. And God ceases to be God, God. which is bigger then I have my brain, and the, my brain yeah. hurts. <laughs> so let, let's, let me end just by reading the last half of the collect again. Through your Holy Spirit, you give us a share in your life and love. Agreed? Absolutely. Uh, yep. And then we say, fill us with a vision of your glory, your glory, God, that we may always serve and praise you. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Amen.
We continue our service with the Apostles' Creed on page 52. Together we pray. I I believe in God, God, the Father Father Almighty, Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. earth. I I believe in Jesus Christ, Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Amen. Our intercessions this morning are Form 16 for the Holy Spirit, found on page 123. Let us pray to God the Holy Spirit, saying, Come, Holy Spirit, come. Come, Holy Spirit, creator, and renew the face of the earth. Come, Come, Holy Holy Spirit, Spirit, come. come. Come, Holy Spirit, Counselor, and touch our lips that we may proclaim your word. Come, Come, Holy Holy Spirit, Spirit, come. Come, Holy Spirit, power from on high, make us agents of peace and ministers of wholeness. Come, Come, Holy Holy Spirit, Spirit, come. Come, Holy Spirit, breath of God, give life to the dry bones of this exiled age and make us a living people, holy and free. Come, Come, Holy Holy Spirit, Spirit, come. come. Come, Holy Spirit, wisdom and truth, strengthen us in the risk of faith. Come, Come, Holy Holy Spirit, Spirit, come. come. Father of light, yours is the morning and yours is the evening. Let Christ, the Son of Righteousness, shine forever in our hearts and draw us to that light where you live in radiant glory. We ask this for the sake of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Gathering our prayers and praises into one, let us pray as our Savior taught us. Our Our Father Father in heaven, heaven, hallowed hallowed be your your name. Your Your kingdom kingdom come, come. your Your will will be done done on earth as in heaven. heaven. Give us today our our daily bread. bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks Thanks be to God. God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. Amen.